that's the cool thing about um, Codename, is that they know your characters really well, like weirdly well, I think. They knew Omen's voice too well. It was really, it was really disturbing. Omen has even been in the game already, just not as a playable character. But the, the basic hook is that he really is the straight man, generally speaking, for the campaigns. Mm. Like, I, I want to play, I, you know, when I did different people play Dungeons and Dragons in different ways. And I've always been a player that like, sort of gets the narrative in my teeth. And I just want to pull all the story I can out of a, out of a game. And like, you know, because I'm a character in that story, I want to try to put my spin on it. But my curiosity playing D&D, it's mostly about, I just get very curious and I want to know more and more and more. And so uh, Omen is sort of the tool that I use to get at that kind of stuff. So he's driven and has schemes and plans, but at the table, a big part of my job is also sort of cat wrangling in real world and inside the game. This this cameo is kind of a nice way to wrap up an interesting, it's a really, really interesting sequence of events. I've always put together companies in Dungeons and Dragons. Like for what for for whatever reason, that is just a for me it's a fun it's a fun fallback position that at the baseline level there is sort of a representation of the party or like a model of the party that exists mm -hmm. that is its own character basically. Like a kind of meta character made up of the other um, people. And so that's been going on forever. And then once we decided to do, you know, once we decided to do that, when I say we decided, of course, I mean that I did everything I could to, you know, yank the rudder in that direction. 